Hey guys, what is going on? It's Nem here and in this video I'll be doing a quick video review of my Milwaukee M12 Fuel brushless impact driver. The model number on this driver is 255322. So I ended up buying this entire kit which contains the, the carrying case and then inside of the carrying case, as you guys can see, we have the tool itself. Uh, one battery is pre-installed, another battery uh, comes in here at the top corner, and then we have the single battery charger as well. Uh, both of the batteries are two amp hour batteries. They are, I believe, the cells are made in Korea with other assembly done in China. The battery charger is uh, nice in the fact that it will tell you when your battery is charging, when it's charged, and if there are any issues with the battery as well. And it is made in China, I believe. However, the tool, I'll pull it out now. It is made in uh, Mexico. So actually, let's take a closer look at the tool itself. So one of the primary reasons why I bought this tool is its size. It is really nice, small and compact and uh, just kind of perfect if you need something light and powerful to get into those tight spaces. So let's just kind of go over the uh, ergonomics and the design. So I love the, the handle design and the rubber, the use of rubber here. It is really nice to, uh, to handle and kind of a joy to use, uh, to be quite honest. So on the left-hand side here, we have four LED indicators that will tell you the status of your battery. You have your directional switch here in a really nice position, and then you also have your pre-installed belt clip as well, along with a um, uh, rubber bumper here towards the top. At the front of the impact driver, we have uh, a trigger, uh, and right above it and between it and the uh, chuck, we have a single LED light. On the right hand side, obviously, we have the directional uh, switch and then another um, rubber bumper as well, which is really nice touch, especially uh, uh, for me, uh, I work at a uh, um, office furniture store and we do a lot of installations throughout the day. So having something that has those rubber bumpers is really nice, small and compact is a big deal because you kind of tend to bump these things around. So um, on the back, there really isn't anything to talk about. And then on the top, obviously, we have four different settings, one, two, three, and then a self-tapping screw setting. Setting number one will give you um, I believe up to 1300 RPM, setting number two is 2400, setting number three is the full 3300, and then the self-tapping screw option gives you that full range. Uh, the uh, impact driver itself will determine how much uh, RPMs to provide. So I uh, love the design, I love the build quality, is absolutely outstanding, and then I um, love the ergonomics and the fact that uh, the uh, uh, the user gets four different uh, settings to choose from. So um, why did I buy this drill? Well, before I actually tell you guys why I bought it, let's kind of take a look at the dimensions since I have my uh, measuring tape here. So the dimensions are roughly about five and a half inches by, um, by about seven and a half inches and then the width of the tool would be uh, right at two and one quarter inches. So it's really nice, small and compact. Not really sure what the weight of the tool is, but it's fairly light. And again, as I said, such a pleasure and a joy to use. Um, so um, the reason why I bought uh, this specific impact driver is because, let me just put it off to the side. I was using this uh, Ryobi brushless uh, P238VN um, impact for quite a long time. And this is such a nice tool. I absolutely love it. It has served me extremely well. I keep it in a really good shape. As you guys can see, it's practically brand new, but it is really heavy. It is really heavy and kind of hefty. And when I'm in those tight spaces, it is kind of uh, big and clumsy. So it's kind of difficult to use and also kind of puts a strain on my wrist as well. So I thought, well, rather than deal with all that, how about I just get something that's small, compact, and just as powerful. And this is basically that tool. It actually might be even more powerful than the Ryobi, which is kind of strange considering how small it is. I believe that it's rated to deliver up to 108 or so pounds, uh, uh, foot pounds of torque, which is really impressive. 
So uh, how do I use this tool? Well, as I've told you guys, I work at a furniture store where most of the times we're driving fairly small screws about uh, this size. And the office furniture that we install throughout the day will require hundreds of these screws. So you guys can see if I'm using this Ryobi, you know, for two, three, four hours at a time, my wrists will get strained and it's kind of just a hassle and whatnot. So by the end of the day, you know, I'm feeling the aching in my wrist. And again, it's just kind of annoying and pain in the butt. So I thought, you know what, I'll just get something that's small, easy to use and just as powerful and this was it. And the last few days have been an absolute joy. It is so easy to use and uh, such, again, such a pleasure to, um, to work work with. Um, so I absolutely recommend this tool to anybody who needs an impact driver just because it I feel like it is perfect for pretty much any scenario. Now I don't have any huge screws here that I can you know drive in a big log and whatnot. All I have are these tiny screws. I actually drew one in uh, earlier and uh, it, it does what I needed to do without a problem. It also has enough power to even maybe remove the lug nuts on your car. I've seen people do that as well. Another purpose for me is that, as you guys know, I work on my bikes uh, in my garage and having something like this, something small, compact and powerful is really useful because a lot of the times what I do is I have one of these adapters. So I would take out my CVT using this 24 millimeter uh, socket. It's with, without, without a sweat because if I didn't have an impact driver, I would have to have a entire tool set to remove that um, CVT. But with this, I can just do it in a couple of seconds. Now, a couple of things that I dislike is just, well, they're fairly minor. There's basically three things. Uh, thing number one is that the chuck, although it has that uh, uh, automatic insert feature mechanism where you can just push in a bit and it will automatically lock in place to remove the, uh, the bit. It doesn't spit it out. It doesn't have that mechanism. So you have to pull on the chuck and then also pull on the bit, which isn't really a big deal. Another kind of a mild, mild, mild concern is just that there's a single LED light and I'm somebody who tends to um, uh, use their middle finger to squeeze the trigger. So sometimes I'm covering that LED. I've used, uh, I've, I've been in the last few days using just my index feather so i adjusted my grip but and, you know just kind of something to mention as well and then my last gripe is the fact that the carrying case does not come with a um, storage area for your bits which is kind of annoying because that would make it an ideal um ideal situation this way you kind of have to carry another uh box with your uh with your bits and whatnot but not a big deal but i do wish that uh milwaukee has uh included a uh, little maybe um uh, area for you to carry your bits so basically again as i've said i'm really impressed with this tool its size and the power that it delivers and i would recommend it to anybody who is looking for an impact driver uh, you can use this at work, at home, pretty much anywhere. Uh, as far as the price is concerned, I've seen these range from anywhere between $150 to about $200 for the entire kit. The tool itself is anywhere between, I think, like $70 and $100 or so. And at, you know, $150 for the entire kit, I feel like it's a really good value. And uh, uh, I would definitely recommend it for anybody looking for an impact driver. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.